how long have you been, you know, anticipating and waiting to get this project started? How long has it been on your mind? I've been in, well, how long have I been waiting to get this project started? Well, it's been, I've had a, a deal with Jive Records as a solo artist since, for the past five years, you know, since I was 18. And, um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, nah, four years, <laughs> making sure. And no, but I've been, I've been waiting, I've been waiting to get in the studio, patiently waiting, because uh, I've been with the guys and doing stuff with them, and, uh, which has been, we've, we've had a lot of fun with them and everything, but I've been waiting to get in the studio for a while now, it's been, it's been a while. And, and so in the beginning, I just wanted to get in and just kind of just see what happens and, and feel, you know, put the feelers out and see how it was going to go, because I didn't know how it was going to, I was gonna go when I got in the studio. I didn't know if I even had it in me to do that. Really? Yeah. It, was, it really was just kind of like a sample. Thing. Did you Did you have any idea what direction you kind of wanted to go in, or was it just a complete experiment? I knew one thing. You know, my whole life I've always been influenced by rock. Um, since I was a little kid, that's what my dad, and my mom listened to and stuff like that. So I mean, it was. It, I listened to everything, but rock was always a little bit higher in the mm -hmm. in the. In the level, so I think I, I knew that I wanted to put a little bit of a rock influence to whatever I tried to do, and and I think that was putting the guitars in there and and maybe some you know, live drums here and there, and and kind of just roughing it up and and making you know make it pop, bring a pop music to a, like a, a different level. Uh huh. So why now was that? like totally just the time difference because it was convenient now or do you feel that you are ready do you have to more support than maybe a year ago uh, I think it was just kind of like the it was like a moment like most of my life what I do is I kind of just you know I live it day by day and I see how things go and I wait for things to happen and I don't force nothing you know things kind of got they got to fall into place for me and it just kind of fell in my lap this time you know we came from you know the Japanese tour uh -huh. uh, and finished the world tour, and everybody took a little break. And and I, from the beginning, though, it really wasn't like I was trying to do a record or anything. It was just it was just kind of just sampling and, and, and seeing how it was going to go. So that's why I got in the studio, you know, and recorded a couple songs just to see how, it, even if I had the, had it anymore, uh -huh. you know, what I'm saying. Uh -huh. <laughs> and because in the beginning, you know, when I when I first signed the contract at 18, you know, it was like. You know, we were expecting maybe to do it sometime around then, but you know, I was, I was dedicated to group, and everything was about the group at that time. So, how is recording by yourself? Did you, you know, come across a lot of experiences that, you know, being in a band just don't allow for? How how different was that? I was recording by myself. Um, it's different. It's big time different. You know, when you're in a group, you're, especially in, in the group and what we've been doing for the past. God knows how many years um, we, you know, being young, you kind of feel sheltered, and you you, you kind of are in this environment where, you know, you feel like nothing nothing can hurt you, kind of thing, you know, because you know you have the guys around you and this big roller coaster that you're on, and and I kind of started, you know, going, you know, falling the wrong way for a little bit there, you know, getting into some stuff, some bad stuff here and there, and and what happened was when I actually took the time to go and record I actually found myself and 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 found out like who I am and, and really and what I could do so you know so it's not just about the music anymore no it, it was big time about making me happy and seeing what I could do and and kind of just trying to find myself yeah it's it so it, what did you find about yourself what I found about myself I mean I found that I that I actually that I actually could do it number one and and that you know, it, it was kind of like another. It's you know, like a new pastime for me. You know, something that that I really enjoy. That's that's fun. I mean, I'm I'm having so much fun doing it, and and actually, you know, being influenced by rocks since I was a little baby. You know, I being able to put that music together and 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 put you know, loving music the way I love it, and and finally doing that. You know, it's it's like a breath of fresh air, and it's so, so cool. And I mean, I loved, I, and I still love doing what I do with the Backstreet yeah, Boys, but the cool thing is that it's it's something new and different, you know, and and it's me. And so so you were completely surprised, or completely, but you, you had moments of utter surprise being in that studio, singing your heart out, you know, vocally. Did you come across things where you're like, whoa, is that, yeah, you know, no, listening back I, I to did, yourself? 
Yeah, I did. I, I came like you know, I came across things that you know that I, I couldn't believe that I could actually do. You know, being you know being in a group and doing yeah. what I do. You know, yeah. it's 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 amazing to get in the studio and also writing was a big part of it too. You know, I was you know I wrote a couple songs in the group with the Backstreet Boys and stuff like that, but I really never did like get into it, get into it because I always you know it was it was more of like a pop type of thing and and like I said I always loved rock so. You know, going in the studio and actually being able to to not worry about, you know, not having to stick to a certain thing and, mm -hmm. and being able to just come out and do whatever you, you know, whatever you want and not have no boundaries. I think that was the, the biggest thing. Is that like a, a release maybe? Yeah, it was big time. It was a release. It was, I, I, I could sing as hard as I wanted to sing. I could, I could you know, put all my heart into it yeah. and just, like, just totally go for it. I could also imagine that, you know, recording in a band uh, and the style and type of music that you do, the whole recording process is very fragmented. Like you do a line here and then you do a line there and you do an ad lib here and an ad lib there. Was this more like an entire story where, you know, for the first time you maybe could, you know, not that you did with all the songs probably, but that you could just sing the whole song from the beginning to the very end, letting it grow, letting it, was that? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was actually, it was a way for me to, to express myself Yeah. To get everything that I've been holding inside since I was a little, you know, kid in this group, 13 years old, yeah. that I've been holding through all those years. Because you know, when, when you're young and you're in this business, you know, there's a lot of stuff you go through, and you you really don't have a way to release because, you know, a lot of because there's always people watching you. Yeah. You're always in this yeah. limelight. So, yeah. you know, I, I was able to get in and 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 write stuff down that. You know that I didn't know I, I I was holding inside for so long. So what are what out. are some of those things? What what lyrically is this about? This album? What lyrically? Um, a lot of the songs like um, I'm a very emotional person and I and I don't like to show it. So like I mean, my does? emotions do well. Yeah, I'm I'm really bad at showing my emotions. So it, it kind of came out on paper and just. You know, be I've I've always been kind of very confused sometimes in in what goes on, you know, in this whole industry and 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 being so young and and trying to learn things on my own, you know. So like that comes out in the music, you know, writing down like just just I mean, when I write, when I go in the studio and I write, I um I don't like you know, a lot of people. What they'll do is they'll 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 sit down and they'll be like, okay, we got to write a song like this, you know. Well, what I do is I go in and I just let whatever comes out comes out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes, like, I'll write a song and then I'll be like, I'll, I'll let it go for a little bit and then I'll come back to it and be like, whoa, you know, this is actually what came out, you know, because it's not like it's not like I think about it when I write it down. You know, I just I look at it later and I say, gosh, this. So it's kind of like it, it's weird. It's therapy, big time. Yeah, it's big time therapy. Yeah. This is the music factory.